here's the area of the frame that's uh, that some people uh, have been. And basically, there's there's a couple of things going on. A lot of guys are running aftermarket leaf springs, and when they do that, they uh, they have multiple stack springs right here. And you see they uh, this uh, spacer block. Um, its purpose is not only to uh, space the leaf spring to get the correct ride height, but it also has this landing pad um, for the uh, jounce bumper, which is right here. So the, the aftermarket springs, um, they delete this part. So now the jounce bumper has nothing to uh, hit, um, and basically you're just, um, you're basically using the shock as the jounce bumper, which is not a good thing. Um, so, but uh, some other guys, I think, uh, also did not, um, we're running the stock springs, and here's what happens. When when the truck is going really high speed, this this is all the way up here. They're running out of travel so that the shock is, is fully um, into its uh, jounce travel. The uh, jounce bumper is into its jounce travel, and then they hit a big bump from there, so there's nothing to dissipate the energy. Um, and what, what happens is the 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 axle will basically compress the jounce bumper right here. Going past that, if there's still energy to absorb, the shock is out of the equation because it's out of travel. So then you have the uh, jounce cup holder right here. And the uh, if you're going fast enough over a large enough uh, obstacle, uh, you will deform this part right here. So despite what everyone's saying, the frame is not the first uh, first thing to go. So then you deform this. Then if you still are running out of travel, then you've got, you've got a couple of things to give. You can, because there's still energy to dissipate. So you can break this, at which point this comes down, this will come down very quickly and that's not desirable because you're gonna lose your shock and then it goes downhill quickly from there. You can break the lower shock mount or you can yield, use that energy to, uh, to yield the frame. And that's what, um, that's what happens. The other thing is, um, you know, if, if this frame was infinitely stiff, which of course you can't make a frame infinitely stiff, but just for sake of discussion, if it was, and if this was stiff, you know, if this was basically like a trophy truck, fully caged, chromoly, the whole nine yards, then you still are running out of travel. You still have to dissipate that energy. And when you hit a bump, when you're out of travel like that, you're gonna, the, the axle is gonna kick the back of that vehicle up. And that's a very, very undesirable thing. So um, in our book, given the fact that you're going over an obstacle and you're out of suspension travel and you're going at serious speeds, really the safest thing to happen uh, for the driver is for the, the frame to bend right there. And, you know, we didn't strand the driver. Um, we didn't strand the truck. We didn't even uh, uh, really cause a unsafe uh, donkey kick condition. Uh, but that's, you know, the bottom line is that the, the truck has 12 inches of travel. A trophy truck uh, has 36 inches of travel. So it is a production vehicle. It does things that no production truck can do but the truck does have limits so in your opinion it's basically a safety issue if the frame doesn't bend the energy still has to go somewhere and if it wasn't that then it's going to either knock the truck out of control or it's going to break something that could leave somebody stranded a hundred miles away from a paved road and then they still have to recover the vehicle which is not exactly an easy situation right. to manage All right. Well, thank you. Yeah.